These men are about evenly matched. That's because the average 30-year-old Canadian is in about the same physical shape as the average 60-year-old Swede. Run, walk, cycle. Let's get Canada moving again. We as UBC students spend 50 to 70% of our time sitting. Lame, right? Here are 11 tips you can use to spend less time sitting and more time moving. Tip number one, focus on your posture. If you find yourself slouching, readjust your chair so that your legs are at 90 degrees. Adjust your armrests so that your elbows lie comfortably and pull your laptop in closer so as to not roll your shoulders forward. Tip number two, do a forearm stretch. If you've been writing for a really long time, stand up, put the backs of your hands on the table, lean in until you feel the stretch. Tip number three, remember to rotate. Grab the back of your chair and rotate your upper body. You should feel a great stretch in your midsection. Don't forget to do both sides. Tip number four, get out of your seat. Feel free to take a knee in class to lengthen your spine and activate those glutes. Whoa, is she looking at us right now? Anyways, this is a great way to get moving in class while not disturbing it. Tip number five, stretch your neck. Grab a hold of the bottom of your chair and tilt your head to the opposite side. Tip number six, shrug it off. Grab a hold of the armrest in your chair and lift up as hard as you can. Hold it for about 15 seconds. Tip number seven, skip a step or double step. When you're taking the stairs, skip a step to activate those glutes or use a double step to get your heart rate up. Sometimes it can be a lot quicker than taking the elevator. Oh, oh, no, not this time. Tip number eight, curl your arms. Grab a hold of the bottom of your desk and try to flip it, but don't actually. Whoa, did she see that? She totally saw that. Tip number nine, don't sit still. Stretch your shoulders, stretch your triceps, maybe even stretch your forearms. Tip number 10, ride the magic carpet. And this one's a tad more advanced. Grab the armrests of your chair and lift yourself up. Cross your legs, keep your elbows bent, and make sure your back is straight. Tip number 11, wake up your legs. If you've been sitting all day, chances are you haven't been using your glutes or your calves. So if you're waiting for the bus, squeeze your glutes, flex those calves, and wake your muscles up. Oh my god. Oh my god, be cool, be cool, be cool, be cool. Yeah, you don't have to do glute bridges to get the same effect. Ultimately, these 11 tips will help you be more active. But to get the most out of them, and really of your life, you need to be consistent. Making an effort every day to be more active will not only help your health, but it can improve memory, help you get better sleep, and can make you happier. And who knows where you'll go when you start moving, or who you'll meet. So move, UBC.